Sounds like Carlos is kind of the next man in for you right now at one of the linebacker spots. What have you seen out of him in camp? Right, and and Carlo Carlo's been doing a real good job from the beginning. It's not that you know something happened and then he's in. He's always been a guy that that was gonna gonna be a big contributor in the game. He's done a nice job up to this point, working on his liabilities. Uh, he's got a good intangible nose for the ball. You know, he can kind of see where the ball's going to enter. Uh, he's got a knack for that, which is good. Uh, we just clean up some of his pass fits. There's some stuff going on back there that that you really got to be on top of your game and 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 the, almost like third base. You know, to that short field, the 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 ball comes at you quick, like a third baseman would. And, and and so you really got to be you really got to be slicked up on your assignments there um, for that short throw. So he's got to clean up some of his pass fits, but he's doing a good job. Is that the biggest change on him from the spring? I remember we, we had talked about how he he had to learn to practice a little bit or get get into better shape to get through and then and kind of understand the assignment. Is right, right. Change? I think that's a great observation. Right now, he's at a point now where he can focus on cleaning up his game. He doesn't have to focus so hard on breathing. <laughs> How anxious are these guys to start hitting someone other than themselves? <laughs> I mean, I would imagine they're very anxious. Uh, we don't get a lot of we don't get a lot of conversation like that because we're every time we're communicating with them, we're talking about the things they need to work on at practice to improve their fundamental base, the things that they need to improve on in terms of our assignments, and the things that got wrong the day before, and 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 then things that relate to uh, defending the opponent. So we don't get a lot of that other extraneous philosophical stuff from them, but I can't imagine that they're not uh, very excited to get into and get going in the season. Coach Kelly talked earlier today about how the team and the culture is changing. They're starting to expect greater things, starting to look forward to championships because he'll settle for no less. Have you seen a real conscious change in the players from spring through summer through now? I mean, how is that progressing? Do they realize what's expected of them and what they can do? I would say that they're working towards expectations, and I, and I don't, I mean, Coach Kelly, I'm sure, you know, obviously thinks like that, and, and clearly you're saying it, so he said it. But on a day-to-day -day basis, Coach Kelly talks about work, working to win each day, winning each day. So he, he sets the course for the day and the assignments that need to get done for the day and winning in that thing today, being a championship player that particular day in that particular moment. So grasping that concept and trying to do those things right, they're, they're, they're definitely gaining a, a greater understanding of that.